Hey guys, so I'm here to talk about a really exciting YouTube made me bite it. Bite it. Ah, no, I didn't make me bite anything. YouTube made me buy it. And that's the RCMA No Color Powder. I get mine off of Beautylish and it's only $12. Now I did check today and this video is gonna go up tomorrow. So as of filming this, this is currently still available and there are three sizes, which is a one pack that I got, a two pack and a three pack. I kind of wish I'd gotten the two pack because I really, really, really like it. Oh, I didn't have that thing out. No, oh yeah, I do. Um, so let's talk about this. This is basically a translucent setting powder, not unsimilar to something like It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores, which comes in a little sifter container, um, or Laura Mercier's setting powder. Here's the Bye Bye Pores. You can actually see the smoke coming off of that or the powder. Uh, this one comes, you get a lot, like three ounces versus 0.23 ounces, and the Bye Bye Pores is like, I don't know, like $35 or $40. I'll try to have that up here somewhere here, whereas this is $12 American. Now, when it shows up on Beauty Lish, Lish bitch, you better have a cart ready and ready to order because this stuff sells out quickly if, because Kathleen Light made it famous. Now, professional makeup artists have been using this for years on clients in film. It has been around a long time. This is not a new thing that she discovered. It's just so good and so inexpensive. And I wish I had bought the two packs. So I'm gonna insert a little video here of me using it. So you can see uh, just beforehand, I dumped it out onto this gold tray for filming purposes. What I actually recommend is saving a compact that's empty. This is from um, a cushion cosmetic. So I can dump a little bit of powder in here. Or what I actually plan on doing is I'm working really hard to empty this MAC pan and then I can put it on here and I like the waffly things on there I think will uh, help the powder from kicking up. You can also stick it on the mirror of a palette on of a compact on the other side, although that makes you look like you're doing extracurriculars. Um, so you inserting the video now of me using it, you can see that I dumped it out onto the tray and then I used it both to set my under eyes and my foundation. I love this. Do you want to know why I love it so much? A uh, couple reasons, reasons for myself. It doesn't settle into my fine lines. It doesn't make me look cakey. It actually gives me this blown out perfect skin without aging my skin, which often powdery products will cling to um, texture or to um, wrinkles and make you look like you have really dry under eyes and age you really, and this does not. It also looks great in photography. You don't get the flashback as long as you use a light layer. This is not a product that you want to cake on. I actually used this in a wedding last week, last week, whatever July it was, I did the makeup for a friend's wedding and it was hot as balls out, like the hottest ever, like a ball sack heating up all of Ontario. I'm sorry, that was gross, but that is how it felt. It was so, I felt so bad for her because it was awful. And the venue said that their air conditioning was working fine, but it was actually broken and it was awful. And the one girl had oily skin the whole time. I use a wax based foundation also by RCMA. There is it V11 palette or whatever. Um, and I was like, oh God, her foundation's gonna melt off. This is horrible. They paid me to do their makeup. Like they, it's your wedding day. You deserve to look the most beautiful you possibly can. And their makeup held up. And I swear to God, it was this. Cause this is the only thing that I have added to my process of doing bride's makeup. Um, I used, on her I used um, a mattifying Makeup Forever primer, but they didn't get any flashback. Her face didn't melt off. Their makeup lasted all night. I really think this helps locks it in. Of course I used the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, which I forgot I wanted to spray. Mm, yes. Now, because what a spray does, and you can use Urban Decay to All Nighter, you could use MAC Fix Plus, or you could even use the um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer on top, or really any beauty um, spray. And what that's gonna do is make the powder look more melted. I hate this two cap system. Does anybody else hate that? It's stupid, but this looks nicer. Um, it will make this powder kind of melt into the skin and instead of having it sit on top, it just makes it look a little bit more um, cohesive and less powdery to be honest, but still give you that blurred, perfect skin, photoshopped look. Like I just, 
There's not really bad things to say about this. Now, if you're allergic to talc or silica, don't use it. That's what's in here. Talc is a filler that's used in a lot of eyeshadows because it makes them blend out. I actually love talc. Like my face, it doesn't make my eyes water. My face eats it up. Things blend better on me. So every time a brand's like, and we're talc free, I'm like, oh, I like cheap eyeshadows. They work really good on me. So, I mean, it's up to you. It's like I use, um, Vaseline every night on my lips and that's what stops me from getting really badly chapped lips A lot of people don't like to use the polypropa whatever because it's like a byproduct of gasoline But I was tired of getting chapped lips. So it's up to you But this powder like and I'm not somebody who bakes but like honestly I look ethereal right now. Also my lighting is like working today um, I always try not to have like too good of lighting because then the stuff I put on my face wouldn't look realistic. Sometimes I watch YouTubers, I'm like, bitch, who lit you? You look so good. But I know you don't look like that in real life. So, but like, I didn't put makeup underneath my eyes so you could see how smooth they still look. Um, for my concealer, I used the MAC um, Pro Longwear, which I'm loving. So yeah, so that's my story on the RCMA. YouTube made me bite it. Bite it. Why do I not bite it so much? Buy it. Um, and I'm really, really, really thankful. This will be a permanent member of my collection. And like, look how much you get. It's like the size of half my face. It's like half a Starbucks. I always like to get a coffee the size of my face. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like me and you wanna see more of what I have to offer, please click that subscribe button. It makes me feel special. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Bye.